Welcome to Workshop Wednesday, where we take you into our workshop once a week. <laughs> I'm Steph. And I'm Vicki. And we do need to let you know that today we're actually filming this on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is um, we have a hurricane coming. Yes. Uh, we are in Tallahassee, and Hurricane Michael is coming our way right to Tallahassee. Yes, right to Tallahassee. <laughs> so we're filming this real quick and we're going to schedule it to post tomorrow, but we don't know what tomorrow, Wednesday, when this post will look like for us, but we are preparing. The garage is full of stuff from the outside and we are following uh, all the necessary precautions yes, we because yes. we take them seriously here in Florida. We do want to remind you though that if you have a storm coming your way or just for future reference, we actually created a storm post uh, that will link below. We did that about a month mm -hmm. ago. And once power comes back, because I'm assuming we'll lose power, yes, we I'm will assuming. let you know on Facebook how things are going for us and uh, and give you an update. So that is that's what's that's going on. What's going yeah. on? But we are going to get on with the show and how we have a bunch of fun stuff for you today. What we posted this week, we did a really quick smart home project. Uh, staff put in a new smart home thermostat. It's by Emerson. It, uh, it's called Sensi and it's a, a, a great thermostat if you're ready to get into the smart home product world. It's a great little product to try out. Yeah, and we'll put a link to that below. Yes. We asked you yesterday on Facebook what tool you wanted a closer look at and overwhelmingly you said the Rigid Mega Max. So that's what we're going to show you uh, show you today. And so let's grab it here. It's up here on a wall control wall. This is the Mega Max. It's actually a tool system, and uh, there's three currently three different heads for it. We have two of the heads, but this right here is the power base, and uh, by it, by itself it doesn't do anything. But when you attach the different heads to it, it will adjust and work for those different heads. So I'm gonna put this is the reciprocating saw head, and I'm gonna put that on first, so I can just put the arrows together here, and then I just boop, and I'm ready to go. It's nice and strong and attached. And I put my battery in here, put my reciprocating saw blade in here and then put my battery in and I am ready to go. When you're done with this tool, you just take it off, you push the release, pull it off. And then I'm gonna put the right angle drill right here. And I'm just gonna line it up again. And here we go. So this tool has a chuck key and I don't love chuck keys because they are things that you can lose them, but I do like that there's a place right here, or it actually goes like this, there's a place right here where you can put your chuck key so you're more than likely not gonna lose it, which is nice. So the chuck key just basically, this is how you open up the front here to put in a drill bit. So I'll put a spade bit in here and then I can tighten it up with the chuck key. There we go. And then I can put the chuck key back in place and I'm ready to go. It also includes this handle that I can attach to give me some extra leverage. And here you can see I am drilling holes with a spade bit. There we go. So that is the Rigid Mega Max. They also have a rotary hammer that you can get. If you have any more questions, let us know in the comments below. So mom, what are we doing next? Oh, the next is a fun Halloween project. We're gonna show you how we made this, turn our little happy pumpkin into a little spooky pumpkin. So take a look. Today on Fast DIY, we are revisiting a project we did two years ago. We made these concrete pumpkins two years ago. We've left them outside all that time and they're looking a little shabby. So we thought rather than just paint them, let's do something to make them look a little creepy. So I'm gonna to start today with covering my work surface and that's a puppy pad and with this press and seal on top. And I like that because it sticks well and you need a surface that this concrete is not gonna to stick to and this will ensure that's gonna come up. I'm gonna get on my protective gear and get started. So mom is mixing up the concrete here and the idea is she's gonna put a base of just concrete and then she's gonna drip some down the edges. So it kind of looks like it has some warts, some kind of creepy look. So mom is gonna cut the bag right here and we're gonna use this bag kind of like what you use for icing. Don't be concerned if you get little drips because you can use those little pieces and another step. Okay, I'm gonna kind of finesse it into place with my hands. And I'm gonna get it as close to the bottom of that pumpkin as I can. That will help it not to um, flake off. So she made this a little bit thinner, so she had a little bit more water, making it easier to pour. And that's what we're gonna do here. So she's gonna use this funnel, and I'm gonna pour the concrete in. Thank you. 
Okay, we're gonna finish this by just adding some drips on here, kind of make it look like little um, warts. Just think about those gourds that have all those little, little bumps on them. And just gonna be very random with this. We're gonna let him cure for probably 24 hours, and then we're gonna come back and we're going to spray paint him so he is all nice in one color. Here he is, all done. What do you think? Do you think creepy, cool? Would you do this to your pumpkin? If you don't have a pumpkin, we will put a link to the original post that we did two years ago on how to make the pumpkin, and then you can add the little extra features that we showed mm -hmm. you today. Happy Halloween. <laughs> now, we have a question for you. Have you ever noticed that I wear purple? And I wear blue. Oh, oh it's every single time? Have you noticed? Have you noticed? Let us know. <laughs> It's a reoccurring theme in all of our videos, in our printed material, and actually in our everyday lives. Mm -hmm. If you look around our garage, there are touches of purple and blue everywhere. The color combination is everywhere. But how did that happen? How did that happen? How oh my god! Happen? You know, you would, you would think there was some kind of big thoughtful process about the colors we wear because we wear them all the time, but no. If you recall, our very video was shooting um, how to rescreen Steph's porch. Steph had a purple shirt that she put on. Because I like purple. I should probably purple. put that out. Yes. I just like yes. the color. <laughs> and I didn't have an option. And I actually ended up wearing um, a shirt of Steph's. It was, it was a little snug. It so was too tight. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little tummy action showing. It was actually an old light blue Trading Spaces shirt. Yeah, yeah. But we decided we'd like the color combination of the purple and the blue. So I wore blue, that light blue, for a fairly long mm -hmm. time. Then this is what I chose. Was the light, yes. was the teal blue. So that is how. That is how our colors became purple and blue, yes. and why. Uh, whenever we go to conferences or out and out and uh, doing work things, we try to wear our colors. Yes. So that we are recognizable as. Oh, you're the purple and blue uh, mother daughter yes, team. Yes. And we're like, yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, it's all good. Yeah. Maybe you'll notice now because yeah. we've talked about it. Yes. So we want to thank you guys for joining us today. Um, I do want to remind you that we want to see the projects you are working on. So there's a link below called Try Learn Share where you can send us your pictures and share your projects with us. Also in the links below, you can sign up for a newsletter and we send that once a week and you get a little preview of what we're doing. And let us know how you like this show. Put it in the comments below. And also, my Alexa just made a noise. <laughs> Sorry, I was distracted. Um, share this video with a friend uh, if you're on Facebook. And uh, weather permitting, Monday we will share another question um, to get your feedback on one of our segments. Mm -hmm. So thanks for joining us and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us.